Ah, nature, the boundless beauty, the fresh air, the bright sun, the tall bobbing fescue, and Okay, I'm out here in East Quag, New York. I just took a one minute walk through these grasses, okay? And we're covered with ticks already. This right here, this is a lone star tick, okay? These little buggers, they carry encephalitis, okay? These are very bad, okay? Um, there's different ticks. You have a lone star tick, you have the black legged tick, and there's a there's a misconception that if you can, can if you can contain the deer, that you also contain the ticks. Um, that's not true. The black legged tick, or also known as the deer tick, okay, here's another one. This is one. The deer tick. They're dependent upon deer in their life cycle, okay? Deer and white mice. But the Lone Star ticks have absolutely nothing to do with deer, okay? And they will come after you. They, they smell your respiration and um, they're quite nasty. And you can tell that I'm a pretty aggressive businessman to go out here in these woods and subject myself to ticks. My cameraman Oh no, he stayed in the shade and I sprayed him up. Me? No, no, I'm risking my life to try to protect you and your family from ticks. We also have the American dog tick, but I didn't seem to collect any on my pants in the two minutes I was out in the woods. See that little dog right there? Okay, that is the nymphal stage of the deer tick. And these are the guys that cause Lyme disease. So, I strongly recommend that you have your yard sprayed Again, excluding the deer will only protect you from one type of tick. When the sun rises. I will not see.